right. Um, okay, so we've got a. I'm just going to draw the figure here. So we've got a horizontal beam and a wire which extends down and supports a drum. And the, the beam is four meters long. It's attached to a wall. The, this height is three meters. The length of the wire is five meters. And the drum weighs 300 newtons. The beam weighs 200 newtons. And the question asks, um, what is the tension in the wire? Okay, so <clears throat> when we're given a question like this, where we have forces acting in various directions, um, and particularly in different points, then it's easier to use, oh yeah, I suppose, um, this is on a hinged pivot as well, because otherwise, um, that would work. So this is on a hinged pivot, meaning that this beam is free to move up and down, but at present it's stationary. So when we have something like this, um, the easiest way is to use torques, not forces. So we can use the sum of our torques is equal to I alpha, uh, where I'm using a vectorial notation here uh, because we will want to pay attention to direction although for the most part um, the direction is either going to be out of the page or into the page and we're going to define um, that using our right hand rule so we've got three torques here uh, the f one, two, and three okay so our torque one is F cross R and it is perpendicular and the distance and the direction is going to be you point your your fingers of your right hand towards the force your palm goes towards the radius and then your thumb points in the direction in the direction of the torque so in this case um, the torque would be out of the page so we're calling this a positive torque so then this would just be 200 newtons times and it acts at the center of mass so that would be two meters along the beam so 400 newton meters now our torque 2 is again F cross R, so this would be the barrel. It acts perpendicularly as well. It's down um, at the end of the rod, so then this is, and if we look at the direction, it's downward, the, the radius is right, and so the torque is out of the page again, and we're defining that positively. So it's just FR, and the, because it's perpendicular, the sine of theta is, is one. And so this is 300 Newton meters. And again, it's positive as it's, as it's coming out, out of the page. Okay. Uh, 300 newtons, oops, sorry, 300 newtons times, uh, times 4 meters because it was acting at the end, so that would actually be uh, 1200 newton meters. That would be a slightly different answer. And now to look at the third torque, um, I'm just going to draw it so that we can see it. It's the tension, and our, here's our R. And so now, if we point our fingers towards the tension and our 
palm toward in the direction of the radius. So that would be uh, this way. Our thumb would point downward or into the page. And so this is a negative torque. And my my strange my strange hands everywhere, but I hope it if you follow along and this makes any sense. Okay, so then um, our torque three is F cross R, which is our tension times our four um, meters times the sine of theta. And that was the other reason why I wanted to draw this, but then I muddled it up. So this is our theta as we join them end to end to get our theta. Now, the tension normally acts, is actually acting at the end here, and that's the theta we would be given. And if we look, these are similar triangles. Okay. I'm gonna re-sketch the figure just to make this even more obvious. So we've got a triangle like this. Our tension is acting this way. So there's our, our sketched tension at joint end to end. So that angle and that angle are the same. We're given that this is three meters, this is five meters, and this is four meters. So this angle, theta, is, um, or this angle, I'm gonna call it actually phi, just so that I'm not getting things all confused. This angle phi, or I should say the sine of phi, is the opposite over adjacent, so three over five. Now this angle theta, which is what's here, which is what's in our our tension expression. If we look, sine of theta is equal to sine of, so the full angle is 180, so that's 180 minus phi. Um, but we can use our laws for sine here and say that sine of theta is just equal to sine of phi because sine of 180 minus phi is just sine of phi. And so then that equals 3 fifths from this expression. And so then that simplifies our torque three quite a lot, because that means that our torque three then is just the tension times four meters times uh, three over five. And so now we're in a position to use our sum of our torques, um, right? So as we said, this is actually a negative. So these all should be negative. We went through all that effort to get directionality, so that will be negative. And so now the sum of our torques will equal our I alpha, but nothing's moving, so that equals zero. So the sum of our torques will be zero. So now summing up all our torques is equal to torque one plus torque two plus torque three. And I'm just including the vector, but we're not gonna bother with the uh, any unit vectors, but we are gonna bother with sine so um, our first torque was positive, which was 400 Newton meters. Our second torque was also positive and was 1200 Newton meters. And our third torque was negative and was equal to the tension times four meters times three over five. And then that all equals zero. And so now we can solve, um, that shouldn't have been a tau, but a t, because
So that's our tension. Now we can solve for our tension by uh, summing this up and rearranging. So we have 1600 newton meters is equal to the tension times four meters times three over five. So our tension is 1600 newton meters over four meters times five thirds, um, which just equals uh, 666.67 newtons. Okay, so now if we uh, check the solution here, uh, so we need to sum over all of our torques. Uh, 200 times 2 plus 300 times 4 is equal to, so that, that's where it came out in the end, right? So that's 1600 is equal to 4 times 3 fifths times the tension. So here we have exactly the same thing. And then here they get that the tension is 800, um, which is just wrong. They just made a calculator error. So, um, so there's a calculator error at final solution. Should be uh, T equals 666.67 newtons. So I guess it's incorrect. Um,